Yo, what's going on, Warriors? It's your boy Lionheart. I'm back. Didn't take long, did it? Alright, so we unboxed some Dragon Ball. Now it's to unbox some Monster Hunter. Oh, yeah, and by the way, I just wanted to say something Dragon Ball Fighters, yeah, I've literally it's installed onto my machine. It's six gigs right but it was actually only two gigs so listen to this if you've downloaded the beta do not delete the beta because it seems to me like the beta is part of the full game because I downloaded the beta basically the beta was like five gigs yeah so the beta is part of the full game and the other two point something gigs is the other half of the game yeah, so, yeah, it's literally started up immediately. I thought, why is it saying only two gigs? And I looked on the actual game cover, and the game cover said it's six gigs. Yeah, so, I don't know what's going on. The bait, it's Namco. I've got nothing else to say. So, let's unbox Monster Hunter World. Let's get into this thing. Yeah, so, I don't even need to cut it open. Yeah, I don't need to cut it open. So, yep. Yeah, taking all this wrapping off. I mean, look, I don't care. I get both games, man. I do what I want. You know what I mean? And I, I can't have one without the other, to be fair. Oh, can we? No, we can't. So, cut this out. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I don't, I don't, I don't want to have that sticky stuff on here. As a collector, yeah, and it comes off nice and neat. There you go. I mean, one of the main problems of two games as epic and as important as Monster Hunter and Dragon Ball is the fact that. They're so immersive. So you can't play them half-hearted. Dragon Ball is its a very easy game to play. But it's a hard game to master. Because you can see that there's a lot of stuff in that game. Right? On the surface, it's a very easy to get into for anyone. Right? But there is a lot underneath the surface. Don't let the one-button combos fool you at the Dragon Rush. Just do it. Fool you. Then that game is going to have a lot of depth. But this is the main game. For me, this is the most important game. Yeah. Oh, you are joking. Don't be hard. Don't be hard to take off. Okay. There's a bit of sticker underneath it. Oh, can we do this? Okay. You know, so Monster Hunter for me, massive. Because it's my first Monster Hunter game. I've never played Monster Hunter. Uh, Monster Hunter game in my life, but I am a grinder. You now, when it comes to games, I grind the hell out of games. Do you know what I mean? So for me, no matter what you have to do on this game, I'll do it. No problem. So let's take this off. Okay, which are we doing it? Yeah, we're gonna go this way. So look, taking this off. Taking this off. Let's go. That just comes straight off. Oh. Lovely. Now let's look at this. That so says Monster Hunter World. As you can see, look, it's, it's already lifting off. So here we go. Lift this off. What are we going to do with? Oh. Bloody oh hell. Okay, no problem. It's all falling all over the place. Yeah, so look, took that off. The little box bit there. Oh. Put that down. Everything's falling all over the place, man. So I'll tell you what, bloody hell. This thing is organised in a way, huh? So, oh. what do we have? This was on top, so we're going to look at this first. Okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> Monster Hunter World. 
uh, which is an exclusive with Horizon Zero Dawn content. I think that's basically the Aloy skin. So that's the Monster Hunter. The soundtrack. I know I'm going to love this. Because um, I listen to the soundtrack and all that kind of good stuff. And this is the Deluxe Edition DLC. Oh, the code. Good stuff. Yeah, so that's the Monster Hunter World Deluxe Kit. I think that's like Samurai. Um, a Samurai skin. Right? But it doesn't affect stats. So it's not like when you get the game, you're going to have an advantage over everybody else at having a high level skin, a high level armor. It's just literally just skin. So it doesn't affect your ability. Like it doesn't give you that special boost at the beginning of the game. So yeah, that's what that is. Soundtrack. I'm more excited about the soundtrack than the game, which is bizarre. But I think I'm just by default excited by the game. Right? So everything else is extra. I like the way it's presented as well, mate. It's all like this thing was in here, which is ripped, by the way. Look, look, that's ripped. What is that, bastards? So yeah, that's the game. Mo I'm sorry, art book. That looks real cool, actually. And the thing is, yeah, I can't even really look inside here. Damn, look at that. Oh, wow. That is incredible, huh? I mean, I can't really look at this, can I? Because there'll be spoilers. Look, I'm not expecting this game to have the best story. If I'm being, if I'm being realistic, I can see through the illusion of this game, yeah? The story mode is just a catalyst, yeah? for the actual game and it's um grinding and it's story and it's hunting monsters and all that kind of stuff that's what the game is right the story mode is just a catalyst for that so i'm not expecting a incredible story i'll be honest i don't believe in capcom for story i don't i believe in, in them in terms of graphics and in terms of um depth and scale and scope and detail of the game and how wonderful the game will look and the system that they'll implement in the games so I'm just cutting that open but in terms of an actual story like an epic incredible story no I don't expect the long story I don't expect an in-depth amazing story I just expect to be amazed by the visuals of the game and that's where Capcom, I feel sorry for them because the gaming um, community, gamers, they, I don't feel like they appreciate the levels that Capcom has when it comes to ooh, their um, ability to do games. Oh wow, okay. So look, this is, this is the boy. Let's start there. So this feels very so this one feels like um plastic well no pvc it's pvc of course and then this is the resin because that's this is soft because it's got to be right but this is bloody hard oh you know it's kind of sharp as well oh that's actually sharp like these spikes are actually sharp so yeah let me show you this so I don't know what this boss is. The Negrante. Negrante. So I don't know what he is. Is he the main boss? Is he like the hardest enemy? Is he... What is he in the game? I don't know anything. All I know is he's an enemy that you fight in the beta. And he looks like... He looks fucking... Terrifying, mate. So yeah. That is it. That is basically the game. With the dual luck, so you get this. Once again, to recap, you get that. Be up there with Goku. Right, so you get that. The game. Special soundtrack, which I doubt is going to be all the soundtrack. It's probably going to be a select few tracks on there. And then the dual luck, 
kits. And I believe that is all. Let's just take a look at this. And of course, the art book. Let me just take a look. Yeah, that is it. That is actually it. There's nothing else in here. So look, there is this box, but I don't think you can take this out. Yeah, you can't take it out. Yeah. So that's it. That's the unboxing of Monster Hunter. I love it. I love all this collectible stuff, man. All this collectible stuff is just bloody amazing. Um, I'm truly blessed, man. I'm truly blessed to be able to get all this type of crazy stuff and just enjoy, enjoy it. You know what I mean? I mean, I want to know what you guys think, right? I played the beta, right? And I think that game is, there is an illusion in that game, yeah? There's no way is that this game, Monster Hunter, an easy game, yeah? People are not going to like it. That's what I honestly think. I think um, people that just want an easy game, like Dragon Ball, that game is really catered, it caters for casuals and mainstream audience for anyone to play. Whereas this game is marketed that way, but there's this is not an easy game to play. Yeah, this is the kind of game where you're going to hate it, basically. If you can't adapt and get with it, you're going to hate it. That's what Monster Hunter is, isn't it? That's a game that you work hard and your hard work gets rewarded. That's what I think. But what would I know? I ain't even played the games yet. So, yep, yeah, that is me um, unboxing Dragon Ball in that first video and Monster Hunter World in this video. And um, tell me what you guys think, man. Did you play the beta of both games? What do you think of both games coming out at the same time? I think it's stupid that they should release both Big games on the first. Dragon Ball's going to win. There's no doubt about that. Because Dragon Ball is a global phenomenon. It is a media juggernaut. Everyone knows Dragon Ball. Even like... Okay, Dragon Ball has got anime fans. Casual. Intermediate. Advanced. And professional. Gamers and people looking at it. Yeah. Monster Hunter has just got some casuals, intermediate, advanced, dedicated, and some professional players and people looking for a challenge, they'll get on this game, right? And Dragon Ball has just got everything in the world. All eyes are on this game. Dragon Ball can sell on its name alone. And look at the visuals of the game. It's a win-win. They can't lose. You can't mess up Dragon Ball, you know, and they haven't, the game's amazing, I'm excited to get into it, finally tap buttons with my team, Goku, Gohan and Vegeta, well the order will probably be Gohan, Goku, Vegeta, I don't know, I'll have to test it out and see what is the best order to have them in, right, and Monster Hunter World, that's, I'm going to be tapping buttons on that game immediately, immediately, so I'm basically going to play Dragon Ball Fighters, maybe for half an hour, and this is going to be the game. I'm going to be dedicating most of my time into Monster Hunter. And Dragon Ball is literally going to be putting a little bit of practice into that game. Once I've figured it out, um, I will play online and stuff like that. And I'll just grind out and learn from there. So, Warriors, thank you very much. What do you think of the unboxing? You've seen this statue, right? In detail. I showed you Monster Hunter World, what comes inside of it. Right, the as I said, just to sh re reiterate, you get the Dulux kit, you get the which is just um like hairstyles, a couple hairstyles, uh, face paint and skin, and then you have the soundtrack, which is a select few songs, and you have the main game, an amazing looking box, right? So yeah, warriors, that is my unboxing. Stay blessed. Take care. Thank you for sticking with me and watching all this time. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys a little bit later. Laters.